Good morning guys, it's 6am here, Friday in Bali. Just taking the hound for a little walk on the beach this morning. This one absolutely loves a little run on the beach. So we're down here before we get down to the gym for the quarterfinals, CrossFit Open. We're gonna go. So fueling up with a couple of electrolytes because things are definitely going to get pretty sweaty this afternoon. Princess is here with me catching some rays. So the quarterfinals, what is it? So in the CrossFit Open, the top 10% performers from each region will make it to the next stage, which is the quarterfinals. So I was lucky enough to finish in the top 10% in Europe, so I'm taking it to the next level. So in Europe, the top 60 athletes will progress to the semi-finals. That is not going to be me, so do not get your hopes up. We expectations too high. I'm just going to have fun doing the workouts with my friend. Chill out a little bit, and then we're going to head off to the gym, get warmed up, and we'll talk about workout number one. See you in a bit. All right guys, here we are. We made it down to CrossFit Wonderlust. This is gonna be our venue for the quarterfinals. So we're gonna get straight into our warm up and explain the workouts to you guys along the way and take you with us and see how we go. We've got a good little crew here, Dave and Lucas, gonna join us. Maybe a few more are gonna come in a little bit later on, but I think we're gonna tackle three of the five workouts. So we're actually gonna start with test number four. You can do the workouts in any order you want, but you have to submit them in a certain time frame. Test number four, is a four rep max front squat from the rack. So that's a test of absolute strength. So it kind of makes sense to do that one first, get that one out of the way. I'm also using a new portrait video mode on my phone to film this. So it might look horrendous. It might look really good. Let me know what you think. So just warming up right now, before we start, I'm just gonna warm up to something moderate, two, maybe three attempts maximum, had a heavy set of four, uh, just because I wanna hit too much fatigue for the rest of the weekend, but I'm excited to see how we go. done went as good as expected like I said I haven't done any heavy squats uh, since January because uh, my knee's been not feeling fantastic but I'm stoked to get 135 for four like, like I said at the start my target was 130 so I opened with that it felt pretty good I took a long rest and then went for the uh, the 135 which is 298 pounds it scored in pounds because the scores going into America so 300 pounds would have been a, a nice round number but you know, I'll take 298 uh, and walk away feeling good. Let's warm up. We'll take a short break, warm up, get into event number two. So the next workout we're gonna do is actually test number one. Anyone that knows me knows that double unders are not my favorite friend, uh, but hopefully we have a good double under day today and we can, uh, yeah, push through some unbroken sets and some, at least some big sets so we don't have too many of those dreaded trips. So let's get set up and we'll get into it. So to make this fair, we have to adhere to certain standards of hand width. Uh, so the guys are taping out the floor now, uh, and the hands have to stay within there for the hand number shops. Weight in the dumbbells, 22.5 kilos, and then the double unders are two rotations of the rope for every jump. Take two.
double unders. That was it. All about the double unders. No practice your weaknesses. That's what happens. No practice your weaknesses. All right, so that's workout one done. Frustrating to say the least. Um, obviously, I don't think that was a very good representation of where I'm at for that workout, but I only got myself to blame. It is double unders. Like I said at the start, I haven't. I rarely do double unders. When I was younger, I did a lot of running and got a lot of shin splints. So double unders for me have always caused or fired up my shin splints. So I try not to do them. You don't practice something, it starts to slip. So first set, didn't go very well. Lots of breaks, lots of traps, but then the next three sets actually went unbroken. And I was like, okay, I'm feeling good. Shoulders were, were feeling it for sure, but I felt good. And then on the second round in the second part, uh, it took me about 30 seconds to get going. Once I got going, I did 48 out of 50, and then it took me another 30 seconds to get two reps. And then I had 15 seconds to go, and I just dived to the wall, 10 hands of a sharp, turn around one, shoulder to overhead with the, with the dumbbell. Uh, and then yeah, that was time. I'm happy because my shoulders felt really good. Uh, so that's good, the training's been paying off for that. So that's sweet. But obviously I'm disappointed, double unders uh, really let me down. I, I could have finished that workout at two minutes to go. However, going forward, I'm gonna get a new rope. I'm gonna practice my double unders. So if you're watching this and you're having the same issues as me, I'm just gonna do 50 a week, unbroken. So I always know when I pick it up, I can do 50. And I've got that movement drilled in. And yeah, hopefully we're never in this situation again. But yeah, one more workout today, which also brings up another one of my nemesis, pistol squats. So uh, yeah, it's a fun day, fun day in the office. Also big up to my videographer for the day, Alex MTB. Check out his channel. Uh, all fucking adventures. All fucking adventures. All about mountain biking, barley, scoring. Yeah, this guy's killing it. So check it out. Okay, gang, we're gonna roll straight into test number two. I cannot do pistol squats very well. I have done 30 pistol squats in my whole life, uh, about three years ago in a competition in Jakarta, and I have not done any since. So, with my knee being not a thousand percent, I'm just gonna play the smart game here. I'm gonna do the 60 GAC sit-ups, I'm gonna do six rope climbs, I'm gonna try and do one pistol squat on each leg, just for the score, uh, and then I'm gonna call it quits. The next two workouts are actually really good for me, rowing and wall balls tomorrow, and then some snatch and bed box jump overs. So I'm just taking the smart choice today uh, with this workout, like I'm having such a good time just training with the boys uh, and just having this event. There's loads of people come out to watch us as well. So yeah, it's a, it's a fun afternoon. I'm gonna keep rolling with it, enjoy it for what it is, and yeah, get this workout done, and then chill out, and we'll get into tomorrow. Workout two in the books. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, the tie break was all that GHD, so I did the GHDs unbroken for the 60 reps. Cruise through the six rope climbs, and I just wanted to get one pistol on each leg. Uh, so yeah, hopefully that's a score that it's not going to be competitive, but it's a score. Now the fun starts because the workouts tomorrow are going to be right up my street. So hopefully I'll be able to put a good performance on there tomorrow. I'm going to watch the boys hit it now. The crowd goes wild. Wow. Oh, oh. That's no warm up, right? That's 50. <laughs> I can do it. 
Good morning guys. Started the morning off here with a little surf. A couple of really fun waves out there this morning. Not that many people out there, so it's just nice to get the shoulders moving, get the body moving uh, before we get back into day number two. So obviously a couple of frustrations yesterday, but I also had a load of positives from yesterday as well. So today is a new day. Two workouts that are pretty much in my wheelhouse, so should be able to push today a little bit harder. Yeah, beautiful morning. What a way to start Saturday and day number two the quarterfinals. You. Okay guys, we are back at the gym. So we are gonna hit test number five first. It is gonna include a heavy barbell, uh, which we're kind of waiting for for the whole open this year. The weight for the snatch is 83 kilos. This is gonna be a short workout, seven minute cap, uh, hopefully finish under seven minutes. Oh, my back feels great. Can't wait for today. Man, I, so I feel like I've been hit by a truck after those pistols, man. That was just a really fun workout. I ended up missing my second snatch. And then I was like, okay, Sam, slow down, breathe, think about what you're doing. And that caused me to go a little bit slower between the reps, so I didn't want to miss again. And then when I got to the last three, I picked up the pace and actually felt really good. So kind of wish I'd pushed a bit harder a bit earlier. The workout was kind of like over before I even knew it started. So it was a good race with Lucas as well. Just snuck in just ahead of him uh, on the burpees at the end. So that was a good push to finish on. Uh, we're going to rest for about 20 minutes and then we're going to hit workout number four. So I've been doing a lot of rowing, so I'm looking forward to that part. 120 wall balls is a decent chunk to do in a row. We're definitely going to break them up and try and save some legs, some gas for that final row at the end.
that is done and dusted. So started off low and finished on a high, which is the way to do it. Yeah, couldn't be happier really. Now it is time to hit the ice bath. Hey guys, we are done and dusted. Definitely one of the highlights of being in Bali is getting home from training and just being able to chill in the pool, properly cool down. We've got a few more days before the leaderboard goes live, so chill for a bit, celebrate later with some uh, beers for sure. Next time I see you guys, we'll have all the scores and we'll be able to go through it and see the result. See you guys later. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've all been waiting for, the scores are live. Okay guys, so the way the scoring system works, you get points for your place. So for example, if you finish in first, you get one point. If you finish in second, you get two points, and so on and so on. And then all those points added together over the five tests to give you your total overall score. So I finished 840th in Europe, and that's out of 1,943 people, which you can see how many points I received there and my scores for the five different workouts. As expected, workout two was the one with the pistol squat, so I knew that score was gonna really drag me down, so that one hit me pretty hard. Workout one was the workout with the double unders, and surprisingly, I didn't do too bad, still coming in the top 50%, even with that little nightmare with the rope. Workout number three, my best workout, was the rowing and the wall ball workout, so I managed to finish under the top 400 in Europe, so I'm super stoked with that. Workout number four was the squat, Again, that's just a test of strength. It is what it is. That's all I could manage on the day. Workout number five, the snatch and burpee box jump workout. Really happy to get that score on that. Like missing that snatch. It's playing on my mind because I know I could have got a better score if I'd have hit that second rep, but you know, I'm still happy to get that score and to be able to move that weight for multiple reps under that intensity. So where would that put me in the UK? So I went through the whole leaderboard, I did the maths. There was 267 participants out of the UK and I finished 108, so well in the top 50%. And then I went through for the worldwide as well, so I'll post up the worldwide scores so you can see how I sat for each workout in the whole world, not just in the European region. Overall, I would have finished 3,428 and 7,656 people took part. So again, in the top 50% in the world. So these results are really good to allow me to take away and go into the future of my training. So I really hope you guys enjoyed my story of the CrossFit Games quarterfinals. Put a lot of work into this video, and if you guys can give it a like, if you subscribe, there's gonna be more videos coming. We've got the teams coming up in two weeks time. So if this video goes well, then I'll do the same thing for the teams. Had such a fun time in the weekend. Big thanks to everyone that came down to support, uh, everyone that came to do the workouts with me and the guys. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys very soon. Peace out.